Hi, everyone, and welcome to our blog. I am Jim Cuervo, Senior Trainer and Support here at Digital Drafting Systems. The following is an excerpt from our What is New in Revit 2024 webinar. Please do not hesitate to drop us a line should you have any questions. Enjoy our presentation. We move into schedule improvements where we have the ability to actually switch the actual row size. Now, what's interesting is that we were able to, uh, in a very roundabout way, we were able to actually revise the, the actual row sizes in previous issues, but they had to be image row sizes. It's the only way to, have to be able to do that. And so it would actually affect on, on, only those. Now we have the ability to select all or just the, row, or the ones with the actual images. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, and let's go ahead and close all of these for now. Close this one now, and let's come over here and say changes no. Let's come over here to this one here. And I want you to see where it's actually happening. Let's go ahead over to some of the schedules here. And let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead into the door schedule. Okay. And in the door schedule, if we look at the, the properties, we do not have anything that indicates the actual ability to change the size of the rows, rows coming across this way. The way to actually do that, you need to actually go to the sheet where the particular schedule is, select the schedule that we are looking for, which in this case is the door schedule, and you'll see it says row height available. It's available here, but it's available only because here in uh, sizes of rows, one of them is selected, image row. But if I select none, it's not available. So be careful. Yes, you can change your row sizes, but you need to have it assigned to either all or only the images, uh, the, or image, uh, the rows with images on them, okay? So if I want to switch them here, let's go ahead and switch them over to uh, 60 and apply and, uh, well, that's not what I said. I said 60. So let's go ahead and back over here, select it again. Let's go ahead and make it into a little more uh, radical number. So let's go ahead and make it 80. Say enter and apply, and it should actually switch the row sizes. So let's go ahead and switch it to, uh, let's say, 0.5. All right, this is uh, not coming quite as it should. And, well, for some reason, it doesn't want to show it. Uh, let's go ahead and see this one here. Oh, okay. What did I do to that one? Oh, because it was image sizes. So oh, silly me. Sorry about that, guys. The reason for that is this. There we go. Okay, so in here, we can then see 49 over 256, which is the original size. Okay, 49. Okay, obviously we're having a little bit of difficulties here. This 256 inch. And then we say apply and it's back to the normal size, okay? So we are able once again to be able to do that. And once again, be sure that you're able to, you understand which one of these you're selecting. You don't wanna go into the little uh, uh, very embarrassing situation where it's not changing, it's not changing is because you, I had it in the wrong sense on the wrong uh, selection. So please remember, if you want to change all of them, it needs to be all. Otherwise it's just gonna be the image rows or none at all. Moving on, we also have some schedule revision clouds, which is really, really cool. Let's go ahead and see how that's done real, real fast. And let's move over here again. And that we do have some revisions, I believe. And if not, we'll just go ahead and add some. Let's go ahead and add a couple of revisions here, just for the sake of argument. Okay, so we go to the annotate to say revision here and Grab that one. Okay, we'll check mark it here. Revision one. Let's go ahead and add another revision in the view here. And revisions. Let's go ahead and add another one. And right here, let's go ahead and add a secondary revision. Let's say, for example, that we switch this one over here. And we can, in fact, uh, tag them if we want to, but we're not going to. We're going to go, to go straight into the view here and let's go to the uh, schedules and in schedules let's go ahead and into the schedule quantities 
And in scheduled quantities, we need to look for the actual revisions. So we actually type RE, and the REs should be actually revisions. There it is, okay? There's my revisions. We'll say select it and say okay. We'll go ahead and transfer over any particular field that we want to make available for the schedule. In this case, all we can, as usual, we can then organize them any way we want. And once we say okay, there's your revisions, okay? If I actually come in here and let's say, for example, this is not a revision one, it's actually revision two. If we go back to the schedules, once again, it's all been updated, just like regular Revit. 